we go. All right, Woo! I'll get Coming to you live. Zeta, no, come here, Zeta. Yeah, we're see, kidding. We're coming to you live right here, right now. You know, when you got beautiful women from Key West, Florida, coming here in sunny South Florida at the middle. Oh, I missed that. I need to see that again. Oh, yes. That's a good girl. Woo, life is good. Good life is better. And when we are running around with Mr. Sunshine, Zena, she's sitting there sipping champagne. Go ahead and say hello to everybody right there. <laughs> right. Uh, welcome to the <laughs> Right band. there from Key West. There you go. Yeah. Look at this handsome man. Huh? Oh, we got it. Please. Come here, Christian. Yeah, like Come over know. here. Say hello. Hey, Caldwell. Go, you know, Caldwell, <laughs> when we're sitting there, look at this. We got Christian. beautiful, handsome man here. Beautiful Zeta coming out of Key West. My grandmother has COVID. Woo, that's okay. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. We got the <laughs> hey, come look at this. We, we got the nursing home from Andrew Cuomo. That's okay. We got it all taken care of. We got our Key West beauty Zena here. Well, let me tell you something. You're looking fabulous. Oh, you got we lipstick. We have gummies we got, from Ross. That's right. We got Ross's Ross. gummies right here. It's oh, totally look at this beautiful. Look at it. There you go. DJ Max. You got the, you got this. You got all of that lipstick all over you. Look I'm at not, that. I'm she not looking sure good today. No, you got to leave that on. I just love. I am not you know, Caldwell, it's a little hard for me right now, pal. You understand? And you got one beautiful Zena. You got Lana. You got Mr. Sunshine. Woo! Oh, oh yes, yeah, she's such a good girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> she's such a good girl. Why don't you sit out here and tell us all about it? What do you want to know about? What do you want to know? What's going on, Zeta? Let's talk about what's happening right. here. You doing all right? Yeah. I'm doing good. You what feeling are we going to talk about? What are you here for? You're here for the weekend? You're just here for the day? I'm here for the week or so. Oh, you got some beautiful eyes going on there. Yes, look at that. Ooh. So tell me about our audience. What are we going to talk about? We're what talk interests What do you want to talk about? We're talking about coming to you live right here at the Band Penthouse Pool Party. And what, We're what sitting interests here live. us? We've got, that's right, how to be a, a gentleman. gentleman. That's right. Well, let's talk about and how to be. that's not difficult for no, you. Look, I'm a gentleman from one end to the other. That is for you because guess what? Caldwell, pay attention. That is not d difficult for you no. to be a gentleman. No, it's not. Yeah. I'm the true gentleman you through and through. I'm out. a true gentleman Zena, through and through. You figured that out. I figured That's that right. out. That's right. You figured it out right away. It's That's not right. hard to be a gentleman. It's not hard to be a gentleman. It's Caldwell, Sean, Nick. Hey, Sean. You know, Sean, while we're sitting here from beautiful women from Key West, we got beautiful Lana coming over here. The lesbian lady. Isn't she looking good? Huh? You guys look fabulous. Lana, four letters. Lana. Zena, four letters. Zena, four letters. Warrior princess. Makes it, makes it eight letters. And you got Eddie, E-D-D-Y, four letters. Yeah. Eddie. Oh, yeah. That's right. There it is. So let's talk about what it takes to be a gentleman. Let's talk about what it means to be a gentleman. What it takes to be a gentleman is to be, uh, even if you were not raised right, mm -hmm. you can pick up on the right things. Well, okay. I Look, you want to, guess what you want to do? If you want to be a gentleman to a woman, what do you want to do? You want to put your... I'm, wait, wait, before we even go there, Mama no. Mary, Mama Mary taught me that women come first so okay, in your, all aspects so of life. Eddie, okay. wait, you yeah. want to be a gentleman? You got to put your nose in my hair. Put your nose right there. Yes, that's such a good girl. That's a such a good girl. A yeah. gentleman will bury his He'll hair bury in a woman's it, but in a hair. Woman's okay, I'm, hair. I'm opening it. You're going to read? Right, let's I'm, let's read. I'm opening it. Pay, pay attention, everybody. We're talking about being a gentleman right now. Pay attention. All right, let's okay. go. How to be a gentleman. Okay, I just randomly opened it. A gentleman does not make idle threats. He doesn't make idle threats. If you make a threat, you better make it a real it threat. It better be a real <laughs> threat. It better be fucking real. You, you know what? <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Sean, Nick. <laughs> if you're going to make a threat to a woman, it this, better be real. If you're going to leave how her, you better good. pack your bag that's and go. That's right. Pack that bag. That's right. Life is good. You know, we sit here all the way from Key West, Florida. Lana is just going to educate you gentlemen how right, to, be a gentleman. to be a gentleman. You're going to put your hair. You can That's put right. Your you got to put your nose the, right there in, there in the woman's yes, hair there all the time. You're going to have to yeah, lift that hair. That's right. You do. That's what you got to do gotta, to you be a real that gentleman. That that's right. Okay, I can't. My daughter oh, said I can't oh, do that. Oh, daughter can't do it. Okay. Well, hey, it's <laughs> nice meeting you. You take care, darling. You guys have a great night now. It's okay. 
We're having a fantastic time. <laughs> Private eyes. Private eyes. That's it. Zeta, you rock. You have yourself a great day. We oh, we tear it apart. We'd be worldwide. We go on Instagram. Uh, she's an Instagram model. Oh, Fedwa, she looks fantastic. Huh? You look fantastic. Private eyes, watching you. Everything, everything. Private eyes. Okay, all right, that's all right. All right, we'll see you guys. Take care. Love, 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 love. Charlie Perkins, you know, Charlie, it's beautiful here in sunny South Florida, okay? We've got the beauty, the swimming pools, the gorgeous goodness here, everything that would life has to offer right here in sunny South Florida is all right here. Charlie, when you get how to be a gentleman, there it is. You are not. That's right, you're going to learn to be a gentleman according to Lana. That's right. According to Lana. How to be a gentleman. According to John Bridges, spoken by Lana. So Lana, don't fall in that water. Don't fall in that water. So how are we going to be a gentleman? That's what we're going to do. Uh, a there gentleman keeps an umbrella in his car. They keeps an umbrella. I got an umbrella in the car. It's in the trunk. Yes, it's in the trunk. A gentleman knows how to sew a button. He knows how to what? Sew a button. Oh, he knows how to sew a button. That's right. Gentlemen can sew a button. Pay attention, Charlie yeah, Perkins. You're oh, learning to be a gentleman right now. Learn to be a gentleman. Well, let me tell you something. You know what? Let me tell you. I wrote the book. All right. A gentleman oh. always offers to change the water cooler tank. That's right. I'm going to change the water cooler tank. That's right. Man. <laughs> Fred yeah. Sordello. Hey, yeah, no. Fred. Hey, Fred, you know, we got it all going on no, no, up here. No, gentlemen does not fire off an angry emails. That's right. No no angry emails by Watch gentlemen. This. He knows there's not taking them back. That's right. You no, that's right. You're Dad. cooked. It's over. Dad. Fred Sardillo, we got it all going on up here. <laughs> I want you to review the film footage <laughs> of about five minutes ago. <laughs> you know, Fred. You know, Fred, it's a little hard for me right now to sit here at the Ben Penthouse oh, pool party. Oh, I we got another you. one. You got another one. What do you got? What do you got? A gentleman never makes himself center of attention. That's right. A gentleman never makes himself a center of attention. That's why we got a lot of Mills, the center of attention right now. She's show we're showcasing how Leo. to be Leo. a gentleman. Leo That's right. Wrote the book. Fred Sordillo, Leo J. Matthew. Leo. We gonna be writing the book. No. There's Leo. Hey Leo. You know Leo. Hey Leo. You gotta review the film footage. A gentleman does not brag. <laughs> Leo. Leo. Here Leo. Leo's on right now. Let him see the book. There's the book, Leo. How to be a gentleman. Now me, you, and Fred Sardilla, we already passed the course. All right. She's given instruction. <laughs> She's giving instruction as to how you why don't you sit down here for a minute. Sit down right here. Sit down. We're gonna we're gonna give instruction here by the illustrious Lana Mills. Look at this handsome guy down here. Is that your is that your daughter over there? Is that your daughter? I I because I know that ain't your wife. That's gotta be his daughter. All right, look at that handsome guy over there. A gentleman never leans back on his chair. A gentleman never leans back in his chair. Well, you see how I'm sitting. I'm sitting vertical. I'm sitting vertical. I'm not leaning back like a like an animal. I'm sitting up like a gentleman. That's right. Well, let me tell you something. Nancy DeWalt Hobbs, we got it all going on right here. This is how it goes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these two. Look at these two lovebirds right there. You gotta love it. Oh, we gotta love it. How to be a gentleman. If gentleman wants his guests to leave. He puts the liquor away. He puts I'm, the liquor away. All right, there it is. There it is. How to be a gentleman. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, Leo, we had instruction. We had a tutorial from the professor today. We let the professor, yeah. Lana okay. Mills, I explain. Have, I also have next time, I'm going to bring another one. You're going to bring another one? 
Yeah, how to be a lady. How to be a lady. Next one. Yes. I'm already past the gentleman class, and now we're going to be how to be a lady. Gregory Scott Ratner. Let me tell you something, Gregory. <laughs> you know what, Gregory? Let me tell you how it's going down. All right. It's going down long, hard, and all day long. Okay. We're sitting here. Where'd Bob go? Where's Bob? Is he in a pool? Oh, he's socialized? Okay, he's over there socialized. Let me tell you something, Daddy. As you're looking at, we're going to put you on Lana there for a moment. You had enough, Lana? You just lounged out there, looking as only you can look. It is a beautiful day. She's the, you know, Leo, when you get down here in November, pal, we got to put a chair right here for you. Does You're going to be sitting like, over like my He loves it. He lo there you go. He loves how to be a gentleman. And you know what a real gentleman does? He always takes more advice to even be more of a gentleman. Okay? Well, you, you don't want to overdo it. We want to be as best of a gentleman as we can be. Hey, Dad, right, Leo? Well, you know what? Well, sometimes you got to get any get get your gun ready yeah but we always want to be a gentleman at all times and you know leo you me I and fred are tough. now don't you think that women come first in all aspects of life women should come first you no, open not the, in politics you open the front door no, for them don't pelosi? we no, not pelosi no but i'm saying <laughs> what's that what's that symbol Go see what see what he's talking about. Michelle Furlong. You know, Gregory, when you got Lana Mills, the professor, educating how to be gentlemen. All right. Pay attention. Pay attention. Class is in session right now. Okay? I'm giving a little clinic out of my time to educate the people in Facebook world how to be a gentleman. Well, let me tell you something. You know. Let me tell you something. Look at Big Steve in there. Look at Big Steve floating around in there and all that beauty and grandeur over there. He's got his beautiful girlfriend over there. You got Lana Milson over there. We got, we got it all going on over there, okay? And how Margie Nick Harvey. Hey, Margie, you know what? We could talk about, whoo! We could talk about 007. We can talk about James Bond, all right? Well, when you're talking in that caliber of gentlemen, well, there's a select group, all right? Leo J. Matthew, Fred Cerdillo, Charlie Perkins, and then there's yours truly, okay? In that elite group of gentlemen, all right, that's how it goes down. Well, let me tell you something, Miss Narvi Nick. You know, Marge, let me tell you something. You can see all the beauty and the grandeur sitting up here, penthouse poop party. You got everybody lounging out. We got Big Bob and Lana over here. We got it all happening over there. As you can see, the beauty and the grandeur. Now, Denise Rocha. You know, Denise, Gentleman Eddie is here, okay? Gentleman Eddie is here. As a matter of fact, here comes Big Bob. <laughs> you gotta, it's amazing what you, you do gotta, here. You've got to love it. You've got to love it. It's just, you can totally connect there ain't nobody, nobody does it better than Bob Youngblood. I'll tell you that. His name is synonymous. We, you know what? Leo, me and Bob, we walk into Taboo. All of a sudden, this couple hits up on Bob. Next thing you know, they're talking about a whole life history. Okay, right at the taboo in the first two minutes of showing up. You know, Bob, you're gonna have to come back they over here more. They didn't want you to leave. Maybe. They didn't want you to leave, Bob. They right. wanted you sitting right there talking about Sarah. It's, that so, magnetic it's the magnetic dynamic. I can't do anything about it. I it's try. hard I for you. It's hard for what? you. That's right. I it's seclude you gotta seclude. Well, you ain't secluding yourself this weekend. Denise wrote you. Let me tell you, Denise. If we're gonna sit here and talk, gentlemen, if we're gonna sit here and talk about James Bond 007 caliber, well, I already gave you the big five right off the top, all right? Charlie Perkins, oh, CJ, hey CJ. You know CJ, we're just sitting here talking. Wait a minute, let me have this. CJ, 
We're talking how to be a gentleman. Okay, there, flip it around. Here you go, here you go. How to be a gentleman. Now, CJ, I know, CJ, I know there's somebody you know that needs this book, all right? I know there's somebody that hasn't read it. I know there's somebody you know that perhaps I can mail him a copy. I'll send him a copy, okay? Lana Mills, the professor, went through this just a few minutes ago and gave the highlights. She told us how to be a gentleman. Well, let me tell you, Leo the Lion, gentleman. Fred Sordillo, gentlemen. Charlie Perkins, gentlemen. You're talking about yours truly. Gentlemen, gentlemen, okay? I, I, I get it twice. I get it twice. Because, pay attention. CJ, pay attention, all right? You're not, you're, you know what? Let me tell you something. Pay attention. I got a little straw right here. Okay, there you go. Now, you, all right, I have your undivided attention. It's time to go to school. Now, you know, CJ, you've been around a long, long time. You've been around. You know what it is, how to be a gentleman, okay? It's a very simple word, how. It's how you're going to do something. To be a. You're going to be something, all right? Gentlemen, three syllables. Gentlemen, all right? That's a simple three-syllable word. A lot of guys can't spell it, let alone be it, okay? Well, you know what? That's where, that's where I come in, all right? That's where I, you know, I get on, you know, I swear to God, I swear to God, I come on here, you know, CJ, while everybody else is out here living life to its fullest in this beautiful swimming pool, while they're sitting here drinking a lab of luxury here, champagne on ice, Lana Mill sitting over there, look at his only chicken look, you got Big Bob over there. You know, I'm taking time out of my schedule to teach these guys how to be a gentleman, all right? Now, it, 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 it's gonna take a little work, all right? I agree, there's some guys out there that are beyond the word gentleman, it's beyond their comprehension, but I'm gonna help them, all right? That's right, Kim, you know what, that's right, Sean Nick. Sean Nick, let me tell you something, big Sean Nick. Being married, you learn that as rule number one. Stand there, look good in your tuxedo, and shut your mouth, all right? You, you've learned that. You've learned that a long time ago, okay? But uh, you know what? Here we go. As a matter of fact, let me tell you something. Here we go. Leo. The library. We got C.J. Canfield on. C.J. Canfield's on. Well, Here, the hold your one. That's right. The beautiful C.J. Canfield. Well, let me tell you something, C.J. How to be. Hair. You want that hair? You want a lot of, you want, you want C.J. Canfield's hair. Well, we are reading How to Be a Gentleman. All right, oh, there it is. Done. They've already done it. Well, the new people just showed up. Gary Diggs. All right, Denise Rocha, our son is a gentleman. He's 23. However, I'm getting it on Amazon. That's right. You know what? I, I helped him write the book on that. All right. As a matter of fact, the author, the author, what's his author's name? John, what was his name? John Bridges. John Bridges would call me several times a day. Hey, Sunshine, what do you think about this? All right, that sounds good. Stick that in the book. All right, oh, we got another one. Here's an important, Here's an important one. Important. Hold on a minute, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, pay attention. The professor's talking right now. Pay attention, class in session. How Go ahead. to respond to an insult. How to respond to an insult. When a gentleman has been subjected to a conscious insult, either in public or in private, his response is very simple. It's a very simple response to an because insult. Because he's a gentleman, he says he's nothing. He's a gentleman, he says nothing. Nothing at That's all. That's beautiful. Here's what a non-gentleman says. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. We got the professor. We got the professor criticizing. He's trying to teach everybody to be a gentleman. This is live, right? We're trying to teach everybody to be a gentleman. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. We got a lot of us trying to educate the whole masses on how to be gentlemen. He, 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 he comes in. Well, he gives his. He's got to give his two cents worth. He's got to give his two cents worth. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, next one is a gentleman Ooh. always sings before he speaks. What's that? Gentleman always sings before he speaks. That's right. Before he speaks. Before he speaks. There we go. There it is. You've got the education on how to be a gentleman. Okay, that's how it goes down. So, Lana. Lana. It's all here. It's all. <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> oh God! Help, help me here at the Ben Penthouse pool party. Tell me how to be a gentleman. All right, we're getting it all from all ends here. And you know what, Big Sean? Let me tell you: when you get married, when you get married, you learn rule number one: shut your mouth and know your role. So other than saying, I do, all you had to do was say, I do. The rest of the time, your wife's gonna make the decisions, okay? She's gonna come first in all aspects of life. She's gonna, you're gonna open the door for her. You're gonna make sure she's fed orders. All right, in all aspects, she comes first. And if you think you're gonna come first in, in any way, shape or form, pal, I got news for you. I got news for you. It ain't going to happen. Because you know why, Sean? The minute you think you're the alpha male, the minute you think that you're going to come first, you're out the door. <laughs> you're out the door. And then, you know what? Let me tell you something, Daddy. There's a line of men lined up from Pittsburgh to Philadelphia ready to take your place. <laughs> and they will know their role. So you know what, Sean? Keep living that lifestyle. Shut your mouth and know your role because your woman's gonna dictate policy as to how it goes down in her house, okay? So there you go, that's right, say nothing. You say nothing. You just, look at this. Look at this, now I have to change the subject. Look at that offshore racing boat sitting right there. It's sitting there like a shark, ready to pounce out of that water at any moment. You gotta wait until he hits that. There's a sign out there. You see that sign? Once he crosses that, that boat's gonna jump out of the water looking as only it can look. He's just easing on in. Listen to the music, the swimming pools. Look at this, the swimming pool. We got it all going on over here. Now let's see that boat. Let's see if he's gonna launch See if it's gonna jump out of the water. Nope, he's just gonna ease on down. He's just easing on in. Probably at about seven gallons a minute, he's not gonna be flowing that thing up anytime soon. Denise, let me tell you something, Denise. There it is, the Breakers Hotel over there, the ocean right there, the town of Palm Beach. There is the Flagler Museum. That's Henry Morrison's Flagler mansion that he built the founder of the town of Palm Beach. We're gonna look over there. We've got the con uh, Biltmore condos over there. You've got the boats and the yachts in the water. We've got some big yachts down there. Look at them, the size of them motor yachts over there. That's what's going on up here, okay? And then you're gonna have all of this going on. Now, if you think you're ready, if you think in any way, shape, or form you're ready to go, Lana Mills looking as only she can look right now. He's it on in the evening out. Denise, let me tell you something, Miss Rocha. You know, I take time out each and every day to bring it to you live as only I can. You want to sit up here? Look, Denise, I got our chairs for you. You can sit right there. We're gonna get you some drinks over here. We're gonna get you all of it. You know, matter of fact, here, I got that for you right here, okay? Read it. That's what's gonna be sitting over there for your arrival, reserved, okay? So when you sit down, you're gonna be sitting there looking as only you can look as you're looking at it the way I'm showing it to you right now. John Stanislaw. You know, Johnny, let me tell you something, honey. While we're sitting there, this is the only way we're gonna look right now. You're getting the opportunity to see it as it's happening, all right? Big John, I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go down. 
you're going to find yourself coming down to PBA International. I'm going to be in that big Rolls Royce. I'm going to come pick you up. You're going to be sitting right over here. You're going to have Denise LaRocha there, John Stanislaus. You're going to be sitting over there. We're going to put you right in the wall, okay? I'm going to be sitting here filming it for everybody, for all your friends and your family, all down in the front row. Linda Mack. Oh, Linda Mack. Hey, Linda. You know, Linda, you and I both know what's going on down here. As a matter of fact, we got big Lana over here looking as only she can look. You can see how beautiful things are here all the way from Tampa. There it is. Being a gentleman, I am being a gentleman. That's right. <laughs> no, no, he, he, he's telling it the way it is. We need, it can't be all one-sided. It's, yeah, we'll edit it. We'll edit it. We'll edit it for you. We'll edit it. After it's live, we'll edit it. We'll edit it live. You know, Real time Linda, let me tell you, Linda. Leo, let me tell you something, Leo. It's a little hard right now, my friend. It's a little hard. Linda Mack, one of our, Leo, you, me, and Linda, great friend. You know, Linda, if you were down here, I would have that chair right there pulled in right over here, okay? You and me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see a beautiful mermaid? Let's talk about a beautiful woman down there. Right there, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Look at his only she can look right there. Look at that. You got to love it. Uh, I love it. They love it. That's right. Boca Raton loves it. You're a national treasure. She's a national treasure. We're going to real time edit. We're going to real time edit. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, Leo, we had a fantastic time at Taboo. Uh, they went to the Breakers Hotel. They, had, they were actually inside the Breakers over there, uh, right there, as you can see it. Uh, well, then we went over there, had a little snackaroo at Taboo as things are taking place. Well, you know what? We're going to ease on in here for a little while longer before Mr. Sunshine. Vito. Oh, Vito. I want you to review the film footage here today. You review that video. How? to be a gentleman. Now, Vito, I already know you're there, but there's always room for improvement, all right? If you're a gentleman now, there's room for improvement to take you up to the next level, all right? I'm at the highest level, double gentleman, all right? When you talk to Mr. Just like Gentleman James Bond, Gentleman 007, all right? There's Gentleman, Gentleman Sunshine, all right? Two, and to get to that level, all right, to get to the level of gentleman, gentleman, you better be able to recite that book word for word and in reverse, okay? So that's what you've got going on right now. Now we're sitting here, you know, it's a little hard for Mr. Sunshine. It's a little hard for me to sit here each and every day looking at all this goodness right here. But I'm gonna tell you, Vito, that's what's going on. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna have to get ready to roll because I got a couple things I gotta do. Uh, Mama Mary wants a little snack of root. Vito, get a load of that beautiful motor you had down there, huh? Look at that. Woo. Hello, young blood. How was your visit this weekend? Wasn't it a fantastic time? The visit was, I'd like to say, it was amazing. Amazing. And you know what? We we did we, we did a lot of running. We went to the Chesterfield. We went to Taboo, El Fresco, Worth Avenue. You went to the Breakers Hotel. You're sitting up here in the Ben Penthouse pool party. I mean, you can't beat it. You all weekend long. We we were sitting here yesterday morning. In, in the morning, oh, it's a fantastic day. Well, let me tell you something, Vito. Let me tell you, Vito. You, right across. Right the there. Breakers. Right there. The, you were there at the Breakers a few hours ago. Yeah, we were there. there you go. There you go. There it is. There's a bar at the Breakers with fish. HMF, yeah. With fish they got fish. Run, that, that's the catch of the day. They got fish in that tank. And that's the way it's going to go. Well, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, class is over. You've all graduated. Learn, remember what you taught, were taught today. 
Professor Lana Mills, How to Be a Gentleman. If you need to review the film footage, if you need a refresher course, review the film footage, all right? You don't have to pay for this. It's free entertainment. It ain't like you're paying $99.99 via Mr. Sunshine to learn to be a gentleman. This is all free entertainment. God loves you and Eddie does too. Thank you for watching.